Hello and welcome back to Dreamfall The Longest Journey. Now we need to go and find Crazy Clara's pet. So let's head back the way we came. There's been an awful lot of fetching recently. Hopefully that stops soon. I've not seen anything anywhere else. Maybe it's over here. Get your fish. Fresh fish. Come on, get in there. Ah, what's that? that? Must be Crazy Clara's pet. It's really cute. Can we get it out then? And I wouldn't say it was cute. How can that thing be scared of that? Right, where is it? It ran in this direction, didn't it? Maybe it's ran back to crazy. Oh, ain't that nice? All right, let's speak to the crazy son of a bitch. I see you got your baby back. Safe now. You are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. Mmm, salt not soup, our favourite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? And what I a dubious lump! to have my soup. I do. She's nice. She is the soup lady. You ask her nicely. I'm sure she'll give you a cup too. Down where? The market. We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time. You hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, okay? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. Weirdo. Alright, let's go to speak to that woman with the soup. With it dubious lumps in it. Hey, what's that door? These doors and windows are all locked or boarded up. Does anyone even live here anymore? Nothing interesting. Right, soup lady. There you are. Not right now. Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? No, I'd like to speak to you about Minstrum Magda. No, thank you. Are you Minstrum Magda? Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Who are you? What do you want? I I'm just looking for Minstrum Magda. I don't know any Minstrum Magda. There are no Minstrum in this city. Not anymore. But I was told that you... that Minstrum... Like I said, there are none left. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I was just told that... that Magda could help me. And who, pray tell, told you that? Ben Rime. Or was it Blind Bob? Well, it was the innkeeper. The innkeeper at the journeyman. Oh, and who would that be? It would be Ben Rime. 
what was it? It was Ben Remay Salmon, wasn't it? Her name is Ben Remay Salmon. I see. So Ben Remay sent you to find Magda. Now why would you do a thing like that? Because I'm... I'm, um, not from around here. That much is quite obvious. Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. I'm Magda. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. No titles, no honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to you. I will try and assist you with any questions that you may have, and maybe even point you in the right direction. But be discreet. Like I said, there are ears everywhere. Okay, we need your help. Why did the innkeeper tell me to see you? Most likely because I have assisted travelers like you before. But the times have changed. Mercuria has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself. For me too, but I belong here. You do not. You think? I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. There's no adventure to be had here. Not anymore. So there's nothing you can do for me. Like I said, I will assist you with any questions you may have, and I will point you in the right direction. But that is all I can do. Let's ask her about April. Do you know anyone by the name of April Ryan? April? I may have heard that name before. What would you with her? I don't know. I need to find her. We have something in common, and I think... I think she's in trouble. And you intend to save her? How do you propose to do that? I don't know that either. I just need to find her. Hmm. Well, I apologize, but I cannot help you there. Useless. Uh, why can't I say her first name? Why can't I call you by your full name? Minstrom is not a name. It's a title I carried before the Azadi banned the Sentinel from the city. And it's a position I no longer hold. It belongs to the past. And I don't wish to speak of it here where the walls have ears. Okay then. Um, I keep hearing about these Azadi. Who are the Azadi? They are our protectors and our guests. They helped liberate Mercuria from the Tyran armies ten years ago. And then they decided to stay. So the city's under occupation? Not at all. And you would do well not to speak ill of the Azadi, lest you fancy seeing the inside of Friar's Keep. Friar's they Keep sounds to awful. unify and convert the Northlands in the name of their goddess. And they are very particular about their faith. It leaves precious little room for other ideas. But that's all I will tell you. I would leave the topic be if I were you. Okay, then. I just want to go home. Can you help me get back to my world? No, I cannot. It's too dangerous. But I can point you in the direction of someone who might be able to help you. You will need to enter Old Town. They call it the Magic Ghetto these days. After our protectors rebuilt the wall. The entrance to the ghetto is across the square. The gate is usually open, but right now the soldiers are conducting a raid. You will have to wait until they open the gates again. Where do I go once I'm on the inside? Seek out an artisan of the magic craft. Their skills have been mostly outlawed by the Azadi, except inside the ghetto. A practitioner of the craft might be able to help you draw on your latent talents to open a gateway. But be careful. If the Azadi were to learn of your origins and powers, they would show no mercy. You would be sent away to stand trial. They fear magic, these foreigners. They are doing their best to control it and everyone who uses it. And I fear they may be succeeding in their endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. Uh, what, what's this ghetto I keep hearing about? What's the magic ghetto? 
It used to be called Old Town, the oldest neighborhood in Mercuria. Now it's a prison in disguise. All magical peoples in Mercuria have been forced behind those walls to protect them from the humans. At night, the gates are closed, and there are often raids. Homes are turned upside down. Good, honest people are arrested, and... And what? They are taken away, never to be seen again. The Azadi call them terrorists. But they are shopkeepers and tailors and poets. The only terrorists here are... But no, we do not speak ill of the Azadi. They have done so much for us. They sound like a right bunch of bastards. Right, I just want to go home. So in order to get home, I need to go to the magic ghetto? Into Old Town, yes. But you will need to wait until the raid is over. So in order to get home, I need to go to the... Ah, that's Into just what we said a minute ago. Right, Thank goodbye. You. you watch yourself out there. Don't get in the way of the Azadi soldiers. If they knew whence you came. I'll be careful. Bye. Psst. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's that guy from the tavern earlier. What do you want? I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. Who told oh, you? Oh, he was with April earlier. Right. Weren't you at the inn this morning? Not here. There are soldiers around. Follow me. I'm not following you anywhere. But I can show you a way into the ghetto. Just hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. Worm? That doesn't exactly inspire trust. What are you talking about? How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name. April Ryan. You know her? I may know how to get in touch with her. You do? How? You'll just have to trust me. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from, from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. I mean, how do I know you won't lead me into a dark alley, knock me out, tie me up and drag me into a basement somewhere? And then do what? Promise I won't drag you into a basement. Besides, what choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? I'm the only one who can take you to... to April. She's the one you're looking for, right? Okay, fine. So I don't have much of a choice. But if you're lying to me... I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. Ooh, I'm sure you can. What a threat. I promise no basements. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Hurry up. We don't want to stay close. We're going as fast this as I can. We're almost there. It's just around the corner. Careful, Chuan. She's a screamer. Raven will be pleased that we bagged us a spy. What a cock. I'm asking about you. There's no question about it. She's a spy. She does not look Azadi. Like that matters. You can't tell and you can't trust anyone. Let's get rid of her. Bryn? All I'm saying is let's not take any chances. She might have a tracking spell on her for all we know. I would have detected it. There is something peculiar about her, but no magic. Peculiar? What did I tell you? She's a spy, all right? Come on, let's get rid of her. I'm Quiet. not a bloody spy. Alone. What? Why? Because you're Wait, a knob. Don't make me lose my patience with you. You need to trust me. But... I... Bryn, come. Now. Yeah, Fine. go on. Get Fine. lost. But don't say I didn't warn you. So, why are you asking questions about me? Where am I? Who are you? I'm asking the questions here. Wait, you're April, aren't you? I recognize you from the picture. What? What picture? A picture of you and your friends. Charlie and Emma. I was in your old room at the Victor... in the border house in Newport. 
Charlie told me about you. That you disappeared and that... Whoa, slow down, slow down. You know Charlie and Emma? How's that even... How are they doing? I only just met them. At the Fringe. Back in... Uh, back in my world. Stark. I'm guessing you're not a spy. I don't Shouldn't really that be obvious here. by now? Last thing I remember, I was at the Fringe. I was going upstairs to make a call, and then... Black. When I woke up, I was in this strange place. A subterranean city. And there were these... Uh, these creatures. I had to fight them. And all the time I was saying to myself, It's just a dream, Zoe. Just a dream. Except... Except it's no dream. I know the feeling. When I first came here, I refused to believe what my eyes and ears were telling me. But you learn to accept the truth. You have to. You're a shifter. You've traveled through the divide between worlds. You're in Arcadia. A shifter? That's what Ben Rime and Minstrom Magda told me. What's a shifter? It'll take too long to explain. You're special. How's that? You can travel between worlds. I like being so special. So how do I get back to our world? Your world, not mine. You just... do it. Once you learn how, it's like blinking. With your mind. But I can't even remember how I got here in the first place. First couple of times, it's hard. It's easier when you're asleep. I wasn't sleeping. At least... I don't think I was. It's... fuzzy. I'm sure you'll figure it out. What's your name? Zoe. Look, Zoe, I'd let you go, but I don't want you walking around out there asking questions, drawing attention to yourself. We'll have to put you somewhere... safe. Until you can find your way back to Stark. No. No, I'm here now, and I need your help. What? Why? Something's happening back in the real world. In my world. And I think you're connected to it somehow. I've been... receiving this strange message. Like a... I don't know. A vision broadcast through the wire. I keep seeing a snowy landscape with a scary black house that looks like a doll's house. And a little girl. Find April Ryan, she says. Save her. Over and over again. Receiving? How? Through dreams? No. Through the telly. On screens. It's like... Like some kind of static interference. What does it mean? Don't ask me. I don't need saving. You've got the wrong woman. I don't think so. This girl. She led me to your room where I found the picture. It can't be a coincidence. It can't? You're sure about that? Look, Stark's not my world anymore. You've got problems, you figure them out. That's what I had to do. I'm done with the saving of the world. Ask someone else. But I'll help you get back. It's either that, or we lock you up somewhere until you figure out how to use your powers. What powers? What do I tell your friends? Tell them whatever you want. The April Ryan they knew is dead. I'm not part of their world anymore. So you're not going to help me? You're not curious to find out why I keep getting these messages about you? What if something big is going down and... Like I said, not my problem. I've played my part, just leave me alone. Now, do you want to go back or not? I do. Of course I do. Good. Like I said, if this doesn't work, we'll have to make other arrangements. We're going to put you under hypnosis and unlock the part of your subconscious that controls your shifting powers. Lie down on that bed, and I'll be right back. It was interesting to know that the world There's that we live on is called Stark. Travel. I will help you remember what you have not yet learned. And I'll end up back in Newport. Can't guarantee you that. You might end up somewhere else. Just try and focus on a familiar place. A safe place. So you're not going to help me? You Let's go home to help. bed. Lie still. What's she talking about? Something's going on back in our world. A good friend of mine's disappeared and... And you need to not talk. Or would you rather have me lock you up? And I think April can help me find out what's happened to him, and why. So why won't you? 
Because I have enough trouble in my life already. Because I'm fighting a war and because I'm done with your world. Now this is your final chance. Close your eyes. Breathe slowly. Don't speak. Listen to Naane's voice. Bitch. Amam, Ayan An. Listen to my voice. Let it carry you into yourself, into the secret places in your mind. Ane An, Ayan An, A Ayan An. I don't feel a thing. What's this supposed to? Oh. Uh, what just happened? I do not know, April An. She did not open a shift, and her clothes. They're still here. Where did she go? I do not know. I have never seen anything like it. It is almost as though she was smoke blown away by a wind. Is she dead? I cannot say. I do not feel her here, in this world. But I will say this. I do not think this girl is a shifter. Then what is she? And where did she go? Uh, that is possibly some of the worst acting I have ever seen in my life. And what do they mean we're not a shifter? And where the hell are we? Uh, 